Better than a shitty Kung Pao chicken made from a cat! When you consider just how some of your favorite foods are actually created, some dark, unappetizing secrets begin to unravel. So, to keep your mind at peace and your stomach pleased, here are 10 foods you'll never buy again after knowing how they're made. Trust me when I say this. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Now that sounds fancy. The notoriously hard to pronounce but savory sauce is a must have in many American households. However, aside from its odd name, there are plenty of ingredients and processing qualities surrounding the famous sauce that might make your appetite plummet next time you're presented with a dish highlighting the sauce. First off, the sheer amount of anchovies packed into the stuff will be enough to turn off some of the more squeamish, less adventurous eaters out there. This small, smelly fish is loved by some, but absolutely abhorred by others. What's even worse, however, is the story behind how the sauce came to exist in the first place. Two chemists, Leia and Perrins, had made a prototype sauce, and it was so terrible that they simply put it in their cellar and forgot about it for months. When they finally went back to look in on the sauce that had been sitting in the basement, they found something that was surprisingly delicious. And what was it saturated? Trading in vinegar. Pass. Yeah. Another audience-splitting, hefty ingredient that's sure to turn off at least a few people out there. For some of you, however, this will prove to be the tamest of our food-related tales of caution. So prepare yourself for what's coming next. Packaged meats. Everyone. Meet your meat. No. 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 no! Do you ever look at packaged meats in the grocery store and wonder how odd it is that meat cuts from so many different animals look nearly identical? The secret to the packaged meat uniformity on grocery shelves goes well beyond simple preservatives and enters into non-environmentally friendly and outright yuck-worthy territory. Carbon monoxide is key to keeping these packaged meats fresh, beautiful-looking, and colored with the expected shades of red we've come to expect from many of our packaged meats, especially when it comes to our main culprit, ground beef. Fake, 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 fake. Now, at first, the idea of carbon monoxide might seem like no big deal. After all, we're exposed to it day after day, right? Well, here's where things take a disgusting turn. Think about the last time you've seen spoiled or passed its prime meat. It turns gray to let you know that you should steer clear of it. When a package is kept red-hued with carbon monoxide, however, it takes much longer for the meat to actually lose its color even after the meat has spoiled. If this fact grosses you out enough to scare you away from this type of packaging process for your meats in the future, be sure to watch out for any product containing the official label for this process. Modified Atmosphere Packaging. Pringles. We're on strike. Hunger strike. You're eating potato chips. One of the most unique potato chip brands out there, Pringles has a place on many family shelves across America. The constant release of new flavors and the unique size-varied packages help the chip brand stand out from the competition in stores. But here's the thing about the snack that leaves you wanting to pop one chip after another into your mouth. They are made using virtually no potatoes. Trying to wrap your head around that is sure to warp your vision of the brand. The corn products and tons of artificial flavors used to make the famous chip snacks are mixed with powders that help create their massive variety of flavors, but are also packed with acrylamide, which is a known carcinogenic that has been under scrutiny due to its negative health concerns. Yikes, that's a recipe for disappointment. To ensure your body, palate, and mind are kept at peace, consider grabbing another brand of potato chips during your next trip to the supermarket. There are tons of fantastic choices out there, so it's time to branch out and find a brand that will deliver real, actual, potato-made chips. Packaged bread. Bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fat? The saying that something is the best thing since sliced bread didn't just come out of the blue. It goes back to the amazement people had with the idea of getting fresh tasting, more readily available bread products outside of specialized bakeries. But with every convenience in the food world, there is often some strange, less appetizing secrets underneath the innovation. Why? 
If you love eating fresh baked bread, you'll know just how quickly it will begin to go bad and become moldy. With that in mind, many of you are likely wondering, why is it that commercially produced loaves of bread can sit on grocery shelves for such a long time without getting moldy? The answer? An all-natural but pretty gross substance known as L-cysteine. What is L-cysteine? Well, to put it simply, it's a preservative synthesized from human hair, which is brought into the food processing industry in bulk from hair salons around the world. So next time you're thinking about going the easy route by buying sliced white bread from the grocery shelf instead of the delicious, fresh alternative at your local bakery, remember that you're practically eating yeast-padded hair loaves. Talk about yuck. Braided Parmesan. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. Despite its ability to elevate the flavor and visual yumminess of many meals, from spaghetti to salads, Parmesan has a reputation for looking off-putting. From comparisons to sawdust to accusations that it might not be cheese at all, there are plenty of rumors surrounding the fancy, delicious cheese. However, the actual real oddities surrounding the manufacturing of grated Parmesan are more stomach-churning and surprising than the more commonly assumed false secrets. While it's not sawdust, your grated parmesan is likely to be packaged with lots of wood pulp. One commonly used ingredient to keep the cheese from clumping is an offshoot of wood pulp called cellulose. While the idea of your cheese being made fuller with tree byproduct is already somewhat yucky, there's a much larger and financial reason that this process should put you off parmesan in the future. You're getting rid ripped off by companies that make the Parmesan. Money, 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 money. With lax laws surrounding how the product can be marketed and labeled, even companies promising 100% real Parmesan are likely packing their products with enough cellulose to shave at least 10% of the actual amount of real Parmesan you'll be buying. Canned mushrooms. I am going to have a filet with mushroom sauce. Now, for most of you, the idea of mushrooms is already likely to be controversial. Some people adore them, and some people will avoid anything that even has a trace of the vegetable sticking to it. But for those who love both mushrooms and convenience, your pantries are likely to be stocked with plenty of canned mushrooms just waiting to be added to your next pizza, pasta, or grilled chicken dish. The variety of dishes you can elevate with the right type of mushroom is nearly endless after all. But after learning more about the process that goes into canning and preserving mushrooms, you just might put in a bit of extra effort to get some of the fresh stuff next time you're cooking with this versatile fungi. In this case, we are opening a literal can of maggots. That's right, your canned mushrooms can be packed with up to 19 creepy crawlies per 100 grams as per FDA regulations. Ah! While not harmful for consumption, the knowledge of what could be lurking inside these canned mushroom products will be sure to scare you away from the product for good. Marshmallows. What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? There is an especially odd nature to marshmallows, which are typically presented as a giant white mass of delicious fluff, but often come in more fun, variety-shaped styles as well. Everyone is almost certain to have a memory or two of roasting these bad boys around the campfire, hopefully with some quality graham crackers and chocolate to complement the marshmallows. Perfect. But there are some sinister, icky qualities to the actual process behind making these beloved fluffy puffs. The main ingredient in marshmallows is gelatin, which you'll recognize as a key part of many candies and jello products. However, did you know that gelatin is made using the crushed, boiled, and then dried bones of animals? When you're eating marshmallows, you're essentially eating a pulverized skeleton composed of horses, cows, pigs, and who knows what else. Take the marshmallow for what it is, and its fun, gooey appearance and taste suddenly becomes sinister. For the vegetarians out there who are unaware of gelatin's origins, this is sure to be extra disgusting. Chicken Nuggets. Chicken Nugget. I like to eat you while I drive. 
Despite being fun-shaped and incredibly popular, chicken nuggets are beyond gross in both how they are made and in how they affect your body. You'll notice when looking at the name, Nugget, that it's not terribly specific about what exactly it is that you're ingesting. Unlike the drumsticks, thighs, and wings that we're used to seeing when looking at other poultry products, the Nugget is a sort of amorphous substance, and an often delicious one at that. For many out there, you'll have likely seen the surge of viral videos showing the pink, disgusting paste that your favorite nuggets are crafted from. But the odd, dark secrets associated with the creation of chicken nuggets does not stop there. When you realize what's in the nuggets, you'll begin to realize why branding and labeling tends to shy away from being too upfront about the information. <sighs> Alongside a hodgepodge of whatever meat is left over from chicken processing plants, the nerves, bones, and connective tissue, along with many other creepy bits, are packed into the gunk that eventually becomes formed into a chicken nugget. They may be perfect for dipping, but in the future, make sure you ask before you buy your favorite nuggets. After all, while all nuggets are not created equal, it might be nice to know just what exactly you're covering in that delicious honey mustard. Sauce. Practically anything red. Red vines, anyone? We're a Twizzlers family. Did you know that the color red is scientifically proven to increase appetite and hunger? With that in mind, it's no wonder that some of your favorite sweet treats and sugar-filled drinks are given a red appearance. In addition to looking delicious, the bright, vivid hue of red-colored products is much more likely to get your attention among competing products at your local grocery store. But despite the flavorful, lovely feelings that red hues might unlock in your mind, there are some stomach-churning processes and ingredients that allow foods and beverages to take on this naturally rare color. In this case, the key ingredient that's unlocking these bright hues might even make your skin crawl once it's revealed. The key ingredient that's likely to make your stomach ache? Bugs. Tons and tons of bugs. What? The most commonly used red dyes for food products are made using a process that's been around for almost 500 years, which uses insects found primarily in South America to achieve the intensely saturated reds we're used to. In fact, nearly 70,000 bugs go into each pound of this commonly used dye. If you want to avoid ingesting literally thousands of insects next time you're enjoying a red-colored treat, watch out for products that contain natural red four and carmine, as these are some of the most common names for this ancient but somewhat unsettling dye ingredient. Jelly beans. The only green bean I ate was a green jelly bean. Maybe it's the fact that they're shaped like beans or the almost neon-colored hues they often present, but there are few delicious snack foods out there that look more unnatural than jelly beans. However, as is the case with many of the other beloved food products on this list, jelly beans Beans hold their own dark secrets when it comes to just how they're mass-produced and put on the shelves to satiate our sweet tooths. The offending ingredient this time? Shellac, a commonly used clear finish used to add a gloss and beautiful look to wooden furniture. If you're used to keeping your house flashy or you've taken a woodworking class in the past, you're likely to be intimately familiar with shellac. Beyond the yuck factor involved with eating beans covered in furniture cleaning products, the way shellac is harvested and crafted is sure to turn your stomach as well. And once again, it's likely to make your skin crawl. That's right, once again, your favorite snack is crafted using tons and tons of insects. Ugh. In this case, the female lac bug, and more specifically, the secretions it leaves behind after drinking sap from trees. If you want to try and keep your favorite jelly beans appetizing, maybe try to rebrand the secretions as a type of natural maple syrup in the future. Looking for more? Just tap or click another video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment!